Hi, this is Dr. Frederick, and um, this is a sort of problem here where we have two proportions that we're interested in. Uh, we're trying to develop a new drug to um, you know, reduce the risk of heart attacks. So we have 133, 1,333 people taking a placebo, which is a uh, non-active drug. Let me get my cursor working here. And um, so we looked at those people, and 28 of those people had a heart attack. And we had a little bit fewer people, 1,327 people taking a drug, uh, hopefully to reduce the risk of heart attack, but 39 of those people had a heart attack. And the question we really have is, look, are are those different? You can say, well, of course, 39 is more than 28. But when we ask the question, are they different, what we really mean is, uh, we know that variability happens. The variability happens, and uh, this could, you know, if we took another group of 1333 or 1327, we wouldn't see 39 and 28. They're not static values. They're going to change based on a sample of, what, an endless population of people, billions of people. And so we really want to know, is, is there something different about these numbers? Or are they really the same number? Now, we're going to have a confidence associated with this. In this case, our confidence is 95%, or, or 1 minus 0.05. And... If we say they're different numbers, well, we're, we're going to you know, throw this drug V away right away. Uh, otherwise, we, we might say, well, it didn't change anything. Is there any other benefit of using drug V? Or does it cause an increased risk of heart attack? Or is it really just, it's not any different than a placebo? So we're going to look at differences in proportions. We have this unusual thing here where they want to know number of successes. And you might say, well, a heart attack, a heart attack is a su success? No. It's just a way to talk about the events that we're interested in. We're interested in the, the what, 28 and 39. And so there's 28 and 39. And we're going to make proportions out of these values. We'll come down here. and We have this thing called P hat. This little mark over P is called a hat, P hat is the estimate of the population value using a sample. So a population value is, what, what is it really true if we gave everybody drug V? There would be a proportion, a static value proportion in the population uh, called P1. Our estimate of P1 is P hat 1 or P1 hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's what we sampled here. And we sampled, what, 30, uh, 39 out of something, out of 1327. Here we go. So our, our P hat 1, or P1 hat, whatever you want to call it, is 0 0.0294. And the P2 hat, or the P hat 2, is going to be the 28. And So the real question is, are these proportions the same, 0.0294? and 0 0.0210. And that's a z-test for two proportions. Okay, so we're going to you know, show you how if you want to use a z-test, you have to satisfy some requirements. And those requirements are because you're, you're what are you doing? You're approximating a normal distribution. So that it's really asking this question. Let's go down here. If the first four conditions hold, then assuming the null hypothesis to be true, z follows a normal distribution with mean of 0, standard deviation 1. This is what n01 means is if, if we can have a z following this distribution, then we can answer the question. Now, the reason we're doing this little mini lecture right now is not about this issue. But here's, here's how to compute Z. It's, it's just a trivial matter. You don't need to use technology to do it. 
you just have to have a calculator to figure out all these values here which are easily obtained I'm sorry with these values P1 P2 we've already done and then we have an overall P that we uh, computed above here by some combination of P1 and P2 see it was just a combination of them over the combination of the samples so that's that's P hat so we got that one that one and then we need the standard error the standard error is given by P hat and then one run two so we already know all these values we don't need technology uh, to compute Z but this is the question that's been asked how do we compute Z using technology and you know people say well I've looked all over the web I can't find you know I found it in 30 seconds put in stat crunch um, Z test of two proportions I found a lecture on how to do it it's very straightforward so here's our stat crunch and we're going to go to proportions we're going to go to two samples with the summary and now it's just going to prompt us what are the uh, successes in sample one it was 39 uh, heart attacks out of 1,327 people and the the other one was 28 out of what 1,333 we're going to calculate and so there's our Z value 1.3798 if we go back here we see that that's exactly correct 1.3798 so you know to use technology it says look you bypass well I lost it here it is you know, it's right there you didn't have to do all the little uh, trivial stuff on your calculator okay I hope that's helpful to you if not ask me some questions